Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first video in the series of me building and coding a full affiliate website. But instead of using a WordPress for uh, running the website, I will code it from scratch using uh, Python, Django and content management system built on Django. So let's get into it. So first, what I need to do is to download a uh, newest Python. I want to use Python 3.9. So far I'm using uh, Python 3.7 on my MacBook. Uh, so let's download the newest Python from the official website. So let's Google Python Mac and we will go to the download page on python.org. Here when uh, we go to the stable releases column, we will see that there is a download link to Mac OS 64-bit installer. So I will click on that and now it's downloading the file. So the file is downloaded and now what I want to do is to execute the installer. And I will just click on whatever it is uh, showing. I will go to the installation process and it's done. I have my Python 3.9 installed in the application folder in my MacBook and uh, I will close the installer, delete it. And so we have a Python ready. So the next step for me is to create a new project folder uh, inside my sites folder where I usually store all my project files. I will name the new folder 10x and I will go into the newly created folder. And in this folder, I will create a new virtual environment. For creating virtual environment, I usually use pip environment library, which is very easy to use library. You just uh, type in pip and shell and a new environment with the newest Python 3.9 that I installed before will be created. So now I'm ready to go. Now what I want to do is to install Django as an application. So I googled Django and went to djangoproject.com and right now in 2020 the new, newest version of Django is 3.1.2. So let's install the Django. According to the get started page, I have to install the newest Django uh, by using this command. Well, but because uh, I'm using pip environment uh, instead of pip, I will have to use the command pip environment install Django equals to 3.1.2, which is the newest version. So let's install it. Cool, it was very quick. The Django is installed and uh, the next step is to create a new Django project. And we can do that by uh, typing Django admin start project. And I will replace the my site with the name of my uh, project, which is 10x. Click enter and here we go. Now, if I visit the my project folder, I should see that there's a new folder called 10x and in this folder there should be a completely new Django application and all the files that are needed to start a new uh, Django website. If we want to verify that uh, our Django project is working, we can uh, use this uh, command python manage.py run server. Oh, it showed me an error, no such file or directory, which means that I'm still inside or above the Django project directory. I have to go one level deeper to access the manage.py file. And now it should work. And now when I visit uh, this URL, I should see a default boilerplate uh, homepage for a new Django project. That will be all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.